Every 30 years in any industry, there comes a technology which changes the game. Today, in this video, I'm going to talk about that technology. Well, you must have got an idea about it with the title of the video. It's not just about why am I stressing so much on learning bioinformatics and artificial intelligence and machine learning, but I'm going to give you three live examples of what we have achieved in Biotechnica in recent last three months, which is amazing. So, uh, before I get to that topic, there are two ways to win any game, right? You want to win the game, right? The career game. So, there are two ways to win any game, okay? One of them is to compete. You compete, right? To win the game, you compete. So, you compete with others. For example, CSIR net, gate, right? So, these are, so these are competitions, right? But then my, it comes in my mind that you don't need a CSIR net if you want to do PhD abroad, right? That means this is just for India. This is just created. Right? There must be another way of winning the game instead of competing, right? And I have told you in several of my videos, you don't need to write an exam to you know, grow in your career. There are multiple other ways. And this is that way. Now, another way to win the game is own the game. You own the game, right? For example, Mahindra Singh Dhoni or Virat Kohli plays the game, right? They compete with other players. But the IPL franchisee owner owns the team and the BCCI owns the game. I want you to be that BCCI of Gandhiji, right? So you need to own the game. How that can happen? That is something we have to learn today. Why am I stressing on bioinformatics, artificial intelligence and machine learning because I myself achieved something groundbreaking. Three projects I got from uh, abroad and these three projects were on multiple diseases, right? So I'm just changing the disease so that I can don't break the non-disclosure agreement with them, but it will give you an idea about what we're talking about. So we got three projects in bioinformatics, Biotechnica got from abroad. And we made a lot of money in these projects. Okay. And what were these three projects? One was on disease modeling. Okay. Disease modeling. So, uh, let's say you want to, you know, predict a disease, disease modeling. Another was where we were using artificial intelligence and machine learning to analyze genomic data. And come to a conclusion. I'm not giving more details because that's confidential. But that is one. And then we had another project where we were talking about a communicable disease by mosquitoes. So, of course, you can predict either malaria or dengue or something. So, that disease. And we wanted to predict using machine learning and artificial intelligence in which area of that particular city or country it can happen, right? So, these were the three projects. One more project I got recently where a pharmaceutical company wants me to predict in which part of a particular country there will be more demand of which kind of drugs and accordingly it will stock the drugs in that particular warehouse. So that's the fourth one which we are doing right now, okay? And all these are confidential projects. For each project, they are paying me in dollars, Right, and our team is working on this. Right, the fourth one I'm personally working on. Now, what happened is I'm owning the game, right? And that is what I want to teach you. So, when I got these projects and I started earning in dollars, I realized that why can't we go and teach you all so that you all can also take up these projects or get employed in these companies, right? So, today these companies are outsourcing all these projects to me. Tomorrow, maybe uh, they will employ people like you, right? Now, recently I saw another uh, vacancy, okay? Probably I'll request uh, when they're editing the video to put that screenshot. So, uh, there's a scientist in Genentech and he has posted on LinkedIn and he says that 
I am looking for a machine learning engineer who has experience in drug discovery. It's impossible for a machine learning engineer to have drug discovery experience. Rather, a drug discovery guy can learn machine learning easy. Right? And that is a job in Girentech in US. Right? All those jobs are going to get outsourced and come to India where bio IT companies, there is a new generation of bio IT companies which will come into picture and they are going to hire you. And we saw this trend coming. We saw the hiring trends. Accordingly, we designed the scores for you. And that is why we are saying don't compete, instead own the game. I'm not saying don't write CSI on it. Okay, it's your choice, whatever you want to do. But if you become, if you do this, you become more job ready. Now let's jump into more details about this. Now I'm going to show you a graph. So let us say this is the graph. And historically, I have these data points, right? And if I connect all these dots, this is what I see, okay? This is my data point. This is x-axis, y-axis, right? Now, what you are seeing, if I have to, now this is actually the growth of a disease in a particular locality. After that, we saw that there is a sharp decline, right? Now, we employ artificial intelligence to understand why it grew and why it declined, what were the factors and when it will recur again, right? And we suppose use AI in biology to understand the epidemiology of the disease, reasons, factors, and then we found out that it is a function, okay? It's a function of the weather. The weather was having an impact on the increase of mosquitoes. And when it will again happen, that we can predict easily because we are getting real-time weather data. So we can easily say that if the weather is going to be like this, this is the number of mosquitoes which will breed. So now the municipality has to be active and we are associating this data with a lot of governments in the world and they can prevent dengue, malaria by using AI tools which we are developing. Similar AI tools will be developed. So basically, this is one example which I gave. Now, let us look at three technologies which I keep talking about. So bioinformatics, one technology. Then I keep talking about AI ML, right? Artificial intelligence and machine learning. Machine learning understands the pattern and then uses artificial intelligence to extrapolate that graph to find out the correlation and give you a result. Very simple. Layman terms. Bioinformatics, same we use all of this inside bioinformatics suppose, then it becomes even more faster. So basically, if I have to accelerate my bioinformatics work, I add AI ML into this. But both will fail if my computer is weak. Correct? But tell me, what is the speed of your mobile, uh, uh, you know, right now? It has 8 GB RAM or something. The computing power is increasing, right? The computing power as well as the internet speed, both are increasing day by day, right? With newer technology. And that is where we are going to see quantum computing coming into picture in the next seven years. By 2029, this AI ML will be self-aware. It will not even need your inputs to do job, right? So uh, recently, like I said, uh, people are saying that coding will not be required in the future. It's not true. Instead, what will happen is it will increase the capacity of the coders by 30 times. The same way when AI ML will become self-aware and it will be able to do jobs autonomously, it will increase your capacity to do skilled bioinformatics job in the future, right? And that is the game changer, guys. We are talking about something which owns the game, is not in the game. So what happens? When you you are in the game, you have to compete. You have to be the Virat Kohli. But instead, if you own the game, you become the BCCI, right? That is where 2029, if you learn AI now, this is 2024, five years from now, if you are an AI ML engineer with a specialization in bioinformatics, where you can get to, tell me. And then by that time, you'll have quantum computing coming in, so this will be even faster, right? I hope you got my point. 
my aim is not to earn a lot of money. I'm anyways doing that. But my aim is to train all of you. So I said the same buy-in for my patients who are working for me on those four projects which I mentioned to train all of you so that I can increase the employability of biotech sector and at the same time create a big range of bio-IT companies. I'm sure many of you will start a lot of bio-IT companies in the future because starting a bio-IT company doesn't require a lot of investment. You just need a computer, right? And you need bioinformatics data. Probably you could be doing that. So it's not the time just to see the dream. You have to live the dream. You have to work for the dream. You have to work towards your dream. And that is why I keep saying, guys, bioinformatics and AIML is going to be the game changer. You have to own the game. Don't compete with others. Own the game. So that is why we have seen two batches of AIML happening. First was 15th February. Second happened on 18th of, is happening on 18th of March. This second batch, Bioinformatics Summer Internship is happening on 4th of April. Analyze, realize this power of bioinformatics, artificial intelligence and machine learning. Combine this, you could accelerate agriculture. You could accelerate any part of biotechnology. Anywhere, wherever you see data, it can be applied. So, don't just feel motivated after seeing this video. This motivation of, is of no use. The moment this video will end, your motivation will go out of the window. Link is below in the description. Check it out. Enroll yourself. Take help of the experts so that you can be the champion in 2029. I'm repeating again. You have to own the game in 2029. You have to start today. Right? So let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or any concerns, any feedback, anything you would like to learn, or anything new want, you want to do. Or maybe you want to start a bio IT company, comment below. Or you can reach out to me at shaker at biotechnical.org. And if you are a parent watching this for your child, remember your child has tremendous potential. Don't let it go waste. Utilize the opportunity. Gain the trend, grab the trend and become the tradition of the industry. All the best. Thank you.